Right then, look at this mud. I'm taking pictures of it as I go. Real swamp. It is always bad here. I mean, look at that there, sludge. We've got to walk around it as carefully as we can. This is quite a little pretty area, it's a protected sort of area. Private wood in there which will be full of bluebells and well garlic soon. That will be a blanket of blue and white with the green moss on the trees to accompany it. The moss is very green this year. Which side should you go, Shield? You're at over there, I think. Some of the mud isn't too muddy. It's well, it's muddy, but it's sort of not so wet. You can cope with it. And here, a little robin. That sounds like to me. Just announcing his territory. That's what he's doing. Hear him? That's a robin. There's two of them. But here's the little, little private wood you're not allowed to go in. And it's, it must go down right down lovely. But it's beautiful. But you have to respect if they put private. You have to respect that. We're coming up to a stream and some very old trees now. Up here in a minute. I can hear the stream already. A deep little valley there. And there's some lovely old trees here. This is all part of the secret little private garden all around here, a little oasis of beauty that will erupt in colour. And over here we've got these two ancient trees. That one at the back there. I have walked right up to them before now. And with Robert Warren. And we've just come from that way. And there's a little stream coming down. Right, let me just turn off a minute and take some pictures. There's another view there. Over and out for a minute. Right then, I'm leaving uh, Row Barrow. That's the big reference point I refer to all the time, those trees there. I've walked amongst them before as well. A few times. Some daffodils lying in a little route down to the cottage. Lovely big tree over there, big oak. And of course over there is the area of outstanding beauty and the new ponies that have arrived. The Exmoor ponies that have been brought up here. I can see a few of them with a naked eye at the top there. This is a brand new big shed here. There's stables here. I, do, I presume they still do horse rides, Tiny's Farm. Great big. There used to be like an old, lovely old uh, classroom structure there once. I like that actually. It looked really nice. They've taken it down. Yeah, I don't know if they still do the rides here. Things change, don't they?
can hear a lot of dogs barking. It's beautiful, isn't it? The sky is beautiful. I'm just comfortable, I am. These, I'm glad I put these uh, summer walking trousers on, though. Make a hell of a difference. Yeah, there's the stables there. I don't know if they've still got the horses, though. You? Big stable there. What size is that? Great big thing. What are we going to do with that? It'll be a warehouse. That yeah, can't be a German Shepherd. This just sounds like a Jack Russell. A little dog. That does. Oh. Oh, I can hear you. Where are you? Oh, hello. You all right? Oh. Hello, babies. How you doing? It's all right. Yeah, good little puppy. Yeah. It's all right. Here, a lot of dogs. Maybe it's going to be a kennel more than stables. So, how? So, what's happening here? I wonder if it's going to be. There's the way up, up there. I come down that bridal path quite a lot. It's this one big shed, isn't it? Big lorries, a lot of big lorries come this way. Lots of them. I don't know if they come from the quarry or what. But usually there's a German Shepherd tied up here. Oh yeah, he's still there by the shed. He's heard my voice before. He might bark. He might not see me for a while. And he knows it's me. He's tied up with a chain usually. Somerset, mend it. Recycling. Oh, wood shavings. That's right. Wood shavings. I wonder if they're still doing the horses here. Yeah. Hello. Good boy. boy. You know, all right. Yeah. Good boy. That's it. When I first met him, he barked. He don't never bark at me now. He's seen me go by a few times now. He's fine with me. He used to bark his head off. When I first went by, but he don't even bat an eyelid now. The thing is, if you talk to them nicely and kind, they know, dogs know. And just be gentle and talk slow. They, they like that. They feel safe. But there's something barking out of barking going up this way. And, but he stopped. Not barking. Maybe more dogs penned up. It's a bit like a farm warehouse, doesn't it? Alright, over and out for now.